Over the last few years, uh, a lot of countries have been supplying Haftar, without which he would not, never have been able to dominate Benghazi and the eastern parts of Libya. Primarily, uh, uh, it is the UAE that has been pointed out throughout the last three years uh, or four years by the United Nations and multiple uh, reports uh, that it is the primary su uh, supplier of weapons and uh, ammunition and so on to the Haftar uh, side. It's an interesting investigation because it draws in some of the outside players, uh, clearly the United Arab Emirates, Egypt, but also uh, interesting, I think, about uh, French intelligence apparently being involved in some spy tracking activity. And, and Russia, in addition to the UAE violating the uh, Security Council embargo, uh, Turkey has been selling weapons to uh, Prime Minister Siraj, who is, of course, uh, leading the internationally recognized government in Tripoli. It's a situation, and I think a, a recipe that's heading towards uh, almost a, a Yemen scenario. What needs to happen is, of course, the arms embargo should be respected. There should be an attempt to return to uh, a peace negotiations. Haftar on the day that the UN was set to begin a dialogue, launched his offensive against Tripoli. Um, we're looking at a pretty bleak situation right now. <laughs> 